Question 8. Make x the subject of the formula a brackets x minus b equals a squared plus bx. So just rewrite that out so it's all on my page. So a x minus b is equal to a squared plus bx. So I've got my uh, what I want to have be the subject of my formula on both sides and it's all a bit bound up at the moment and the key thing is I need to get all my terms which have x as part of them on one side to then apply my key step which will be to factorize. So I'm going to just expand this bracket out. It gives me ax minus ab. That's equal to a squared plus bx. Okay. Um, now, I've still got my um, terms with x in them on both sides, which I don't want. So I'm going to add ab to both sides. Add ab. It gives me ax equals a squared plus bx plus ab. And if I take away bx from both sides, then I'll get my terms with x on one side and everything else on the other, which is what I want. So take away bx from both sides. It gives me ax take away bx equals a squared plus ab. a squared plus ab I could also factorize if I wanted to. I could take a out as a factor. But right now I'm concentrating on my on my um, uh, on my x here being part of both of these and this is my key factorizing step. That's the only way I can split it out. So step that's my key. Key move really. And so I've got x a minus b equals, and this time I am also going to factorize this side, equals a, a plus b. Just thought I'd do that. Um, so if I now divide by a minus b, and divide by a minus b from both sides, I've got x equals a a plus b over a minus b. That's my solution. You could leave it like this, a squared plus a b over a minus b. I just thought it might, you know, that if I factorized, I might have a chance of cancelling, but it doesn't in this case. So I need to leave it.